Hello and welcome to a new range of short tutorials aimed at Unreal Engine 5 or Unreal Engine 4. Today I'm going to be demonstrating the switch on int command and we're going to show this by firing projectiles at a cube and making something different happen the number dependent on the number of times it's been hit. What we'll do is we'll launch the engine and we'll start off the first person template and go from there. Here we go into games, first person and ensure this is blueprint, desktop and maximum. You can add starter content if you want, but for this example we're not going to do so. Once we've created the project, we will now go into the main viewport and select one of these cubes and turn it into a blueprint, or convert it into a blueprint by pressing this button. In Unreal Engine 4 you'll have a blue button here to do so. What we'll do is make it, give it a name, and I'm going to call this Switch Cube. Probably want to name it something better if you've got a few of these in here. And the next thing we're going to do is to go into the event graph and drag an event hit from here. This basically means every time this is hit by a projectile something will happen. We can put a print string here just to check and as soon as this is hit it will say hello. If we compile up here and save, we can minimize this and press play. And we see that it's saying hello every time the cube is hit. Now if we want something different to happen, or if we want to count the number of times this has been hit and have a different function or event happen upon it being hit, we can do this by bringing in the switch on int. I right click in the blueprint and search, search for switch on int. And what we're going to do is to plug this in here and dependent on what number is fed into here, we can choose the output of this node. So I'm going to have, for example, the first time it's hit, something's going to come out here, then the second time, and then the third time. And for this to happen, we can actually create a variable here that's going to be our, we can call this switch. And over here, we'll make sure this is an integer. Compile and save. And we can drag this in here and just click on get. Next, we feed this into here. At the moment, the default value is zero. So anything that happens, is going to come off of this pin. What we can do here is just do a print string and say hit. Let's compile and save that and press play. So as you see, with the variable equaling zero, it's going to say hit every time. So what do we do if we want to change this number? What we can do is we can actually set the integer once it's been hit. So if I grab this in here and then just click set this time, upon the first hit we can set that to one and we can actually duplicate this by pressing Control W and changing this to two for the next one. And we can even duplicate this as well indicate another hit. And what I'm going to do next is just change the material after the second and third hits and then I'm going to destroy it. So let's add another pin here. So this is going to set it to and then we want to change the material. To do that we can get this and then do a set material off of this. I've just referenced that twice, don't worry too much about that. And what we're going to do here is just change this maybe to a different material, we'll change that to a yellow material upon the second hit. And set that to two, which means the next time it's going to hit it's going to fire off this. And on the last one we're going to do a destroy actor, which is going to basically destroy it. So what's going on here is the first time we hit it's going to say hit and then it's going to change the value of that variable to 1. The next time it hits it because it's 1 it's going to fire off the 1 pin, change the material then switch it to a 2. Then the last time as it's a value 2 it'll destroy the actor. Let's give this a go. And there we go. Let's play that one more time. First hit, hit, second time hit and it turns yellow and third hit it makes it disappear thank you very much for watching if you've got a better way or any questions about this please hit me up in the comments and don't forget to subscribe